For Johnny Marr, former member of the Smiths and one of the most influential guitarists of his generation, the acoustic is an essential part of his musical armoury, an instrument that not only sets the mood of the music, but drives the song itself. One of the first things that struck me about the acoustic was being very little and um, hearing the Everly Brothers, you know, and um, one of their records starts. And it's very deliberately an acoustic guitar intro. And they had that going on a couple of their records. And um, that's a different thing to this sort of an earnest idea of the, the folk singer earnestly finger picking accompaniment. It, that, that's a riff. Sometimes it adds a springiness, it adds an articulate nature to violence, you know. Pete Townsend and stuff like Substitute, you know, kind of like, you know, it, it, you know, it doesn't have to be a soppy, you know, kind of foppish instrument. It can actually add, add vitality to the violence of the music. Riff like. Sweetness, sweetness, I was only joking when I said I'd like to mash every tooth in your head. That to me was well, always going to sound better on an acoustic, and it's a, it's um, a rock or you know, post-punk or whatever, you, what name you want to put on it, but it's not folk music. If there's one Smith song I would pick, which I would just say that, you know, the acoustic player on it is just so important. Um, it kind of almost drives the song along and just just makes everything just a wee bit more like bucolic kind of thing, is um, William, it was really nothing. It was written on an acoustic in a, a transit van going down the motorway and I had this acoustic and I just started going. <laughs> And it may be because it was the noise of the, the um, sitting in the back of a van with no seats, just on a mattress, that I needed to hear myself. So I, and I just started to play something kind of loud and hyperactive, you know. But uh, the whole band, the bass and the drums all, all go along with that rhythm. And the sort of song is kind of um, uh, propelled by that. It just feels like it's the bed for everything else. Um, and sometimes, you know, the, when acoustic guitar is that important, they, they almost become more important than the drums sometimes. The combination often of acoustic and electrics is a wonderful thing because they don't really get in the way of each other because they occupy different parts of the kind of sonic range within a record. And you'll find a lot of great rock acts over the years, like whether it be R.E.M. or The Smiths or any of those great bands, they often put a little bit of acoustic amongst the electrics and it just helps glue the, 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 the rhythm section to, to the guitars. Sometimes the, uh, the acoustic guitar uh, brings the band closer together and it definitely reins the electric guitar in. It makes it more gentle, it kind of makes it more regal. You know, there's just something there where it's just everything is feel as if it's couched in some kind of ready brick glow. <laughs> 